Yeah, Elon Musk, this is really a playbook from 1980s corporate raider. That's what he's doing with Twitter. I mean, this is really what I believe is going to be the, the first step into him ultimately owning Twitter after a soap opera plays out. You know, he started off with a 9% stake. There was a bit of back and forth with the board, went from friendly to now it's a hostile situation. And it's a get out the popcorn time because Musk is ultimately has this significant path to owning Twitter. This is almost a Twilight Zone moment for many on the street to watch something that's historic. I mean, Musk single-handedly trying to buy Twitter was not in anyone's playbook going in 2022, but because of the freedom of speech issue and it's become a divisive area that Musk has now inserted himself in, he's trying as the richest person in the world to basically own Twitter, 43 billion. He's obviously the only person in the world that can have access to that type of money. Probably about half that will be done in debt. And Twitter, from a corporate defense perspective, the board's back against the wall. Fiduciary responsibility. Clearly, they don't want to be doing candlelight dinners with Musk, but they have a fiduciary responsibility as board members. And I ultimately believe this is going to spark a sale in one form or another of Twitter. Yeah, I think this has crossed the chasm from an investment or a project pe- project of Musk into a much more strategic initiative. I mean, obviously, we've seen it at Tesla and SpaceX, and Musk has the funds, and he looks at Twitter on a social media perspective. That's going to be his platform. It's always been his platform of choice. It's how he has 80 million uh, subscribers uh, that follow him on Twitter. But now it's really him trying to own the platform, take it private and change it. And this is going to create a political firestorm, both in the Beltway as well as the EU. And it's something where, as the soap opera plays out over the next 30, 45 days, it's a fork in the road for Twitter as well, uh, because their board ultimately is going to be forced into trying to find another potential acquirer. Otherwise, they ultimately will have to be talking to Musk.